Welcome to July's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is find median from data stream. The median is the middle value of an ordered integer list. If the size of the list is even, there is no middle value and the median is the mean of the two middle values. For instance, if we had an array of 2, 3, 4, the median is going to be 3. And if we had an array of 2 and 3, the median would be 2 plus 3 divided by 2, 2.5. Now we want to implement a median finder class, which basically has two functions, either add a number uh, from the data stream to a data structure or find the median, which returns the median of all the elements so far. So they give you a bunch of follow-ups and stuff, but let, let's ignore all that. Let's just think about what we would do if we had some sort of data stream. Like if we just had a bunch of numbers coming through into our data stream and we added it into like a list, we would have to have it ordered to find the median, right? So there's no guarantee that all the data coming in is going to be ordered, so we'd have to sort it each time. But once we sort it, it becomes relatively easy to find the median. All we have to do is, if the length of it is odd, we just take the middle value. What we'll do is get the length and divide it by 2, and that's going to give us the middle value here. Now otherwise, if we had even numbers like this, uh, what we do is get the, median, the middle index right here, as well as the one uh, I think maybe let's see this is four so we'd have to do divide two so we say minus one for one as well as uh, and divide by two for the other one so we'd get these two so really the key thing here is how can we keep this list sorted each time because uh, if we can sort our list in a very efficient manner then this would be relatively easy so the first approach I thought was we could use a sorted list what we can do is from sorted containers import a sorted list. This is going to allow us to automatically keep our list sorted whenever we do an insert. Each insert takes log n. If we did that, everything else uh, takes care of itself. So what we'll do is initialize a, let's call this array, and we will start with a sorted list. We'll also keep track of the length right here. And this will be so that we don't have to calculate it every time. Now when we add a number, all we have to do is say add num. We'll increase our n by 1 here. Now it's just a matter of whether it's odd or even. See if it's even. Uh, we can do that by calculating the modular. If this is even, then what we'll have to do is uh, Return self dot n. Uh, we'll get. Oh, I'm sorry. Self dot a. Self dot n divided by two minus one. And we'll do the same thing right here, except without a minus one. And we'll divide this by two. Otherwise, if it's odd, we just return self dot a. Self dot n divided by two. And this should be it. This would work. Um, and it looks like that's working. Let's go ahead and submit it. So you can see that adding this number takes log n, while finding the median is basically 0, 01. It's, it's pretty much instant. Now, this might work for a leak code problem, but if you were in an, in an interview, they might not like this because you're kind of cheating by using an outside data structure. They might not really like the fact that you just took advantage of this. So what are some other ways? What could we use like more traditional data structures to solve this? Well, imagine that we had our sorted list, right? Uh, just whatever, one, two, five, 10, and then 16, 20, and or 90, 100, something like that. Um, one of the things we can realize is basically the only number we care about is the one right in the middle, right? We could split our list into two data structures uh, one with the bottom half of the ordered list to be on a heap, or a, rather a max heap. We'll make this bottom half a max heap here. And the top half, we'll make that a min heap. And that way, what, what will happen is the max, on the max heap, the number on top is going to be the one right in the middle, or the um, number right on top of our min heap is going to be the one right, right at the bottom of our top list here. And what happens is we just will keep 
the bottom half uh, with one greater number we'll have this be like n plus one and this be n uh, the way we can do that is say that we enter like some number 15 we'll first insert it we'll do a heap push onto our heap here what that's going to do is 15 is going to get on top right here right and after that what we'll do is take whatever the max number here is on our heap and push it back to this top half so now 15 gets popped off here and it's going to get put on here like this now at the end if we find that um, this top half of our heap is bigger than our small heap we're going to pop this back off and put it here uh, just to keep that data structure intact here we can see it's both even so we'll just keep it and since the lengths of these are equal all we do is take the top of our heap on our bottom half that's 10 and then take the mac or the min off our min heap from the top half and that gives us 10 15 just divided by 2. now if we didn't have that 15 all we would do is take the number of our max heap on the bottom half and we'll just keep this you know uh at most n plus one greater than this the top half uh, and that way um yeah hopefully that gives you the idea of what we're doing here so let's have two heaps we're going to have the bottom heap and we're going to have our top heap there's going to be two lists now when we add what do we do we have to do a heap push onto our self dot bottom first and what we'll have to do is since this is a max heap we're going to have to make our number negative so we'll do negative num and after that we're going to heap push onto the top half and we'll do a heap pop from our from our uh, our max heap here so this would be self dot bottom and we have to revert that invert that back to negative so if we find at this point that the length of self.top is greater than the length of self.bottom, we're going to re-push that back to the bottom here. So we'll do a heap push back onto the self.bottom. Uh, we'll have to make it negative again and heap pop from the self.top here. Now finding the median uh, depends on whether the lengths are equal or not. If that it's not equal length of self dot bottom does not equal length of self dot top that means this bottom one uh, it, you know has one more so we can just return that whatever's on the max heap there so return self dot bottom zero otherwise what we'll have to do is uh, get both of these here bottom zero plus top zero and we're going to divide it by two And this should work also. So let's see if that's working. Oh, uh, oh okay. I forgot because because this is a we made it a negative. Just adding these together won't work. So I believe we're gonna have to actually subtract here, which actually is adding. So uh, that should work. Let's see. Hmm, this still says negative two, which isn't right. Okay, okay. One more, forgot to make that a negative. There we go, so let's go ahead and submit that. Again, there we go. So this is gonna be also, uh, let's see, since these are all heat pushes, this is all gonna be log n, and finding the median, this would be O1. So this would also be the same time complexity. Uh, it's just it's a little bit more complicated because we have two heaps, but uh, I think it's a lot more clever. So I like this solution. All right. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.